Hi Taurus, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angela333. I hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do a reading here in a moment. Just a few things uh, before we get started. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. Personal reading, giveaway details, how to enter. If you'd like to request a personal reading, uh, my information is below. And then also below in the description box, uh, gosh, your card's are already flop, flopping out here, is uh, my meditation, relax, calm channel if you'd like to check it out. So with that, let's get started because your cards are already popping out here. I will say it is a general reading and uh, may not resonate with everybody out there, but take uh, what resonates with you. This is a new uh, spread I'm doing. I just call this the mini tower spread. Uh, so very specific energies here that I will be looking at. Okay. So interesting enough, give me just a moment here. Okay. So, um, Showing up in your recent past, you have the Six of Swords energy. A Six of Swords. I meant Six of Wands. Let's see why the Six of Wands is here. Page of Swords. Okay, someone's been spying on you, Taurus, and you got the Page of Cups. There's somebody I feel, um, it feels like a new energy. So somebody in your recent past, I feel here, this could be someone that you've been talking to. This could be somebody that um, secretly wants your attention, I get. <laughs> you got the Ace of Swords here. It feels like a newer energy. I'm not picking up a past energy. So I feel like this could be someone who's flirting with you. This could be somebody too that you've you know, you communicated. This could be somebody new that you just recently met, too. I'm picking up a newer energy. Now, in your current energy, you do have the chariot. You've got strong Cancerian energy. Let's see why the chariot is here. Now, this could be someone who uh, could live at a, a bit of a distance. I'm not talking, you know, like flying or anything. Uh, could be travel, you know, uh, in a car. But it could also be longer distance. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. It could be out of state there, overseas even, with the Six of Swords. Let's see. We got the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Your energy, it's not about uh, male or female. It's about the energy. So in your current energy, you have the Chariot, you have the Six of Swords, and you have the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. So, you know, there's a possibility this person hasn't shown up yet. It could just be somebody spying on you. Somebody's interested in you. You you stand out amongst the crowd here with that six of wands. But some of you, this is somebody new maybe that you just started dating. I do sense here, Taurus, that the two of you, this does have potential to lead to something long term now distance could be a factor could you know interfere in this connection so let's see why the moon card is here you could also be dealing with a pisces so you got cancerian and pisces there strong energies uh, typically i only call out the strong signs because we end up getting all the signs here on the board but why is the moon card here, please? Why is the moon card here? Okay, so we got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and we got the Emperor. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Four of Cups. All right. Hmm. So, Taurus, this person has some fears here with that moon card. I feel like they have fear of retraction, definitely showing me that, Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, Aries Energy, and the Four of Cups. This could be somebody who has fears of rejection. That could be why this person, you know, may be just flirting, or this may be somebody who <clears throat> is secretly spying on you. Like I said, uh, you stand out here. Um, I feel like this is someone who kind of keeps keeps to themselves type of energy. 
<coughs> excuse me, Taurus. I'm sorry, I got allergies here. I feel like, you know, they see you as people like you. You stand out in a crowd. You may even do something for your, your career where maybe you are, um, you know, around a lot of people and people look up to you type of energy. But I feel like this person has some fears. I feel like they kind of keep their, their emotions to themselves. And I also feel like there is a fear here of possibly maybe you not being interested. Okay. So interesting. Let's see uh, why the Seven of Swords is here. This is your challenge position. Why is the Seven of Swords here, please? So you have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like, too, with that Four of Cups energy, this could also be someone who may feel like you have other options, whether you do or you don't. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. And the Four of Wands, interesting. And the Seven of Swords. The challenge here. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Okay. You know, I almost get here, Taurus, that this person may feel that you're not looking for a relationship or something like that. This could be somebody too. Um, they could not want, you know, they may not want um, a relationship here. That's very interesting. Seven, Eight of Cups, King of Wands, Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person here feels like there's competition or they, or they feel like there may be other people... Um, that you could be dating or seeing or talking to. Or I'm going to say here too, for some of you, if this is a newer connection relationship, this could be to someone avoiding talking about commitment as well. Because I see the potential there. Okay. Um, let's see why the temperance is here. So this is influences around you. This is divine timing. Let's see why temperance is here. Okay, Hierophant, your energy, Taurus. Got the Knight of Cups. Okay, and you have the Hangman. All right. And the Three of Pentacles. You know, Taurus, I just see that this connection relationship is going to come together in the right timing when the timing is right. I also sense here maybe there hasn't been any conversations around where the connection is going, right, whether it's a relationship or not. Um, but I feel um, that right now it's just kind of that time for the two of you to explore, you know, the potential of this connection, the romantic options here. And like I said, um, some of you may not have even realized, maybe you don't realize that somebody's interested or maybe you haven't even started dating this person. But I sense here, Taurus, this for some of you, and it may not resonate with everybody this week, but... I sense that there is somebody here um, that is new and I feel like there hasn't been a lot of talk around commitment, where the connection is going, where the relationship is going and somebody is feeling here um, maybe that uh, someone's avoiding a conversation I feel around commitment. Now we have the outcome, which is the Queen of Swords. Let's see why the Queen of Swords is here. So communication is sticking out there. We have the Death Rebirth card, Scorpio Energy. We have the Ace of Swords. Ooh, we have the Tower. And we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, and we have the Seven of Cups. Oh, no. So Taurus, what's going on here? Hmm. I feel like something is the, the dynamic here between you and this person is going to change. Okay, you have the death rebirth card and you have the ace of swords. So I feel like there is going to be a conversation here between you and this person, um, you know, upcoming. Now you do have the tower and you have the eight of swords. 
Uh, I almost feel like Taurus that if this conversation comes up, it almost feels like it's not going to go anywhere. Why? It definitely feels like confusion here. Okay. So let me ask another question. How can I word this? Will Taurus have a will um, a conversation happen between Taurus and this person? And will there be a good outcome? Okay, got the sun card. That's my yes card. You got the moon. Ooh, the sun and the moon. Two of swords and two of wands. Okay, and we have justice, Libra energy. Okay, so Taurus, what I'm getting here is I feel like there's going to be a conversation. I do feel like it's going to be positive. I feel like um, the only thing that I feel here with the moon card could be dealing with the Pisces as well and the two of swords. I feel like if you if you're expecting that this person is going to open up emotionally, I do not see that. Um, I feel like there may be some clarity around where things are at, but I don't feel like the person, this new person, like I said, it feels like a new connection. I don't feel like this person has made any kind of long-term decisions about this connection or relationship. So I sense here that you may feel in the dark still. You may feel kind of, you know, clueless here. You do have uh, the justice here and you do have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like you and this person are going to enjoy some time together, spend some time together. But if you're looking kind of for an answer here, um, I don't see it yet because it, like I said, it feels like a very new connection here. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like this is a past person. I mean, if it resonates that way, then take it. But this feels like a new person. Okay. So let's see what the Romance Angel cards have to say. Okay. Passion. All right. So there's a lot of passion between you and this person. Okay, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Interesting. Let's see what else comes out. You have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. All right, interesting. And this could be the one you already met, the romantic partner you seek. Okay, okay. Somebody need may be needing to release an ex here. Somebody may be um, having a hard time making a commitment because there may be a past situation. It may just be this person hasn't healed uh, from a past situation, maybe a bad breakup or a bad divorce. Okay. Um. And so you may see that this person is really showing more with their actions, but not really giving you a whole lot of clarity of where the connection of the relationship is going. So I sense here with the heart to heart conversations, I feel like the two of you may need to have a heart to heart to know where this is going because it shows me up here. Um, in your outcome position, like there's kind of lack of clarity and someone here in this connection, whether it's you or your person, hasn't really made any clear decisions about this connection. And it may just be that it's too new of a connection for, you know, someone to make a decision. All right. You know, let me ask here, Taurus, I'm sorry. I just feel like we need more info. What is this person thinking or feeling about Taurus? Three of Cups. Judgment, justice, okay, and the five of wands. Okay, yeah, it's interesting. It's coming up again. I feel like there could be somebody in this person's past that they haven't completely dealt with, moved on from, and that is what's preventing this person from really deciding you know, to move forward or give you the clarity that you need. And it may come out in a conversation here with, with this person. If the two of you um, have a conversation about where things are going, I wouldn't be surprised if this person said, I don't know if I'm ready for a relationship. I had a really bad relationship in the past. 
Um, and I have had a hard time, you know, I, I had a hard time getting over it. What else can you tell uh, Taurus about what this person is thinking or feeling? Ten of Swords. There it is. Ten of Swords, right? They may have been, they may have um, been betrayed in the past. Three of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, that's why this person takes it step by step. This person's afraid of getting hurt. They're afraid um, of, uh, you know, a really difficult situation. This is, I feel like there's something that happened in this person's past, a past relationship. May have been their last relationship. Okay, so this is someone who's not sure that they're ready to take the next steps towards a commitment or a relationship here. You've got the Empress here. I feel like this person will talk to you. Um, I do feel with the Empress here, right, there's definitely... And the energy here of the two of you exploring this connection, this relationship. And I feel um, I feel like this person can be a very good communicator. Um, but I feel, you know, they're not ready yet. So I feel like, Taurus, you're being guided here to just kind of go with the flow, right? And then as those conversations come up, that's going to be your opportunity to talk about it. So Taurus, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you all have... A wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.